Hey, hello guys, I am Mihai. Welcome, welcome. Today I want to announce a new playlist and it's called the Windows 10 tutorial playlist. I gonna do you learning lessons from the knowledge I know about Windows 10. Also learning myself more in depth and keeping you up to date with the latest tips of Windows 10. So we're gonna dive in Windows 10 first basics, first uh, Windows 10 shortcuts, the most common one we're gonna make this video and then later we're gonna dive in the desktop we're gonna learn every button we're gonna search through every menu and we keep growing growing and develop our learning in experience in windows 10 we're going to registry editor we're going to task manager we're going to a lot of maybe control panel we're going to every location someday but not now of course we first start with the basics so yeah, today it's Windows 10 shortcuts and I want to say I still keep reviewing mice, I still keep reviewing mouse pads, keyboards and so on. But this extra bonus and for me it's also fun to create it and also to improve my own Windows 10 experience. So I hope you will like this playlist and let's go to the shortcuts. So you probably know already, this is the control button, the windows button, the alt button, of course the shift, you can see that, and the tap button, the spacebar is in the middle, we all know that stuff. Some people has their windows button on the right side of their keyboard, the most common one they are on the left. The function is mostly on the right, but sometimes they are also on the left, depending on what keyboard layout you have. I have a Windows button on the left, but some people have it on the right as well, or they have a full size keyboard. I have a 10 keyless keyboard. This tutorial uses Control, Windows button, and Tab button, and Windows D, and Windows print screen on the top, and Windows arrow keys as well on the bottom. So they're basically a quick show off for this tutorial. So, hey, hello guys, we are arrived at Windows. As you can see, I put some in the notepad, the very common one, the 10 most common one they most people use nowadays with their keyboard. And that's Ctrl C. Ctrl C is copy. So you press the button Ctrl and C, and then for example, you, you type, hi, I'm Michiel. Your left click it, hold your button, marker it, Ctrl C, and then you have it in your notepad. Uh, your, I don't know how you say it, in the Netherlands we say clamboard. And then you, for example, Ctrl V, you can do this one, the paste one, I marker it. You do Ctrl V, and then you have another, hi, I'm Michiel. Spacebar, Ctrl V, hi, I have another, uh, hi, I'm Michiel. To cut this, you press Ctrl X, for example, Ctrl X, Ctrl X, Ctrl X, and that's good. So basically it's very simple. You just can do Ctrl C with anything. For example, you have a Google icon, you can Ctrl copy and Ctrl V. You can copy paste anything in Windows with Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And to cut it, you do Ctrl X. Quite simple, right? You can do it with text, with icons, with files, and many things in Windows. Even some other edit programs use the same key keyboard combination. Then we have Windows Search. For example, you can, I have it fully open, as you can see on the bar left bottom corner. I have Search fully open, but you can do, if you not have that, you can press this button, Windows, logo key, plus S. Windows S, and you open the search bar and you can type instantly Steam, for example, or Discord, or whatever you want to search. Some people have it like this, uh, then it's hide it, then it's like this, and then you can do wi Windows S, and you have the search bar instantly as well. So that's basically search, quite simple, in my opinion. Now here you have maximize window, Windows key, up arrow. So you have this window, yeah? this window for um, our notepad we press windows button and up key and we maximize the window to f to the fullest and you can minimize it back to the preset the, the previous one windows button downwards 
and you go up. You can like shuffle quite fast, right? But this tutorial says we, we're maximizing it, but you can also set it back with the arrow key with Windows button. Task view, you have Windows logo key and tab. So Windows tab and you have Alt tab. Personally, I use Alt tab to do this. Alt, I press it on the keyboard and tab. And you can swap between the programs that are open. And if you release the Alt, you highlight the selection. You can also do Windows tab and you see like this, a very weird timeline. And what's in, I have three monitors, so on every monitor it has its own uh, desktop interface, but you guys can only see one because I'm recording one monitor. But I personally use Alt Tab because it's way faster. But if you have thousand, thousand things open, then the Windows Tab is faster. But if you have only like 10 or something, Alt Tab is the fastest in my opinion. Then if you have like 10 folders open or you want to go instantly to your desktop, you press Windows button D. Seems very easy. You, get, you have it also here in the bottom right. You can click it, you go to your desktop, but you can also press if you're, for example, eating a sandwich, you can do it with Windows D and you're going to your desktop. But sometimes you have something in your left hand and you're eating with your left hand and you can just click it in the right corner. It's a small trick, it's very easy and you need to remember these at least. At least the top three are the most important ones and the others are also, this one is also very important. Windows key press print screen. If you do that, it makes just a screenshot of your monitor. So we are doing Windows key, print screen, and you see like a flicker on your screen and the files get saved somewhere on your PC, mostly on pictures, documents, and then pictures. Uh, that's very interesting to know, but we say that later in another episode, we first just do the shortcuts. And this is also very important, Windows key and X. If you are not eating with both hands, <laughs> you can do Windows X and you're going to sign out, shut down your PC, sleep, sign out, restart, whatever you want. And Windows L, we can't do right now, but you go to the login screen. For example, you are at your office and you need to uh, get in your coffee or something. You press Windows button L and it logs off your account and you go back to the login screen and you can safely take your coffee and going back and put your password in again and you're back to go, you're good to go. And that was basically my top 10 guys, I hope you liked it. Yeah, and that was basically my little shortcut tips or it's not a tutorial, just to show you the most common ones. There are a thousand more than this one, but these are very important for just easy, basic navigation in Windows 10. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this video, maybe thump it up, subscribe or join the Discord, up to you. And otherwise we are going soon to the next episode and we're diving into the Windows taskbar to search all the features and functionality of this taskbar. It's the most important one of your Windows. But of course you need hotkeys in my opinion, the basic common ones to understand Windows a little bit faster than a basic computer user, casual user, right? So guys, stay tuned. Episode two is coming very soon. See you guys next time. Bye-bye guys. Bye. -bye. <sighs>